Hi everybody, in this video we're going to have a quick look at applying simple transitions in Adobe Premiere CC. So what you can see in the project screen here is a simple sort of timeline, um, me talking to camera, um, a few screen captures, me talking to camera again, and then we've got like a title that pops up, and then we've got an overlay that pops up, and then we've got near the end we've got um, cut into a different scene again like so and then at the end we've got a uh, just dip into a title right at the end there so if you feel like you want to apply a transition so like dip to black dip to blacks or fade to blacks and um, uh, additive transitions which is probably the, the most common ones you want to do it's dead easy to do first thing I'd say is in down in the bottom left hand corner in like the project bin click on the effects tab and then if let me shut these up so you should look something like that and go into video transitions go into dissolve because these are the ones we want to look at and I would say on dip to black right click it and say select as default transition this is the, probably the one you'll use the most so for example at the beginning of this video there's me talking and then it goes into this video capture so you know maybe I'd want to dip to black in between these um, so you just double click on the edge of the um, clip and you see we get both clips come up and then in the middle there's this transition and because I've chosen dip to black I can now apply that and then what we get is you'll see me dipping to black and then it flick into the other one and then if I wanted that to kind of dip out of black I could do it like that so now what we'll get is we'll get to black into black like that and some people you know like that some people just do jump cut straight from one to the other it's up to you depending what you want for your videos now the other thing you do is if you right click the transition you can increase the time or decrease the time so let's increase that to a 50th of a second as you see it gets longer there so we've got a longer dip like that um, so there you go, dead easy. Now, although dip to black is probably the most common one you'll use, for example, in this part of the video, where again we've got another flick where it goes from me talking over to another scene. So again, we probably do double click, hit the transition, dip to black, and then double click that, dip to black. That kind of works nicely. Let's just watch that. Just like that. If we come back to here what we've got here is we've got a title overlay as well so it's me talking and then we get a title pop up but we don't want to put a dip to black in because if we put a dip to black in you'll see this so me talking dips to black to the title which is what we don't we don't want that we want um, something else we want an additive uh, dissolve so let's just um, right click the transition and clear that out so what we want is the additive dissolve this one so I'm just going to uh, click on that, hold it clicked, and drag it across to the beginning. And what you'll see here, if I, if I just play it, you'll see the title fades in, which is what we want. And then if I put that on the end of the title as well, let's just move that forward a little bit, you'll see the title fade out nicely. So again, on this this one as well, this is a lower third. It comes up with my name. Again, if we don't want that, you know, that jarring entry, Again, we do an additive dissolve, which we put on the end, beginning, sorry, an additive dissolve, which we put on the end. And again, if you right click it, you could extend the duration to make that fade longer or shorter. And they're the two main transitions you want to do. If you don't want to just do hard cuts, put in fade to blacks or dip to blacks and put in additive dissolves. Now, um, if you want to get rid of them, right click clear, change the time, we've talked about that. Now the other thing you might want to do is you might want to do um, fades to sound as well. Now when you're doing these dip to blacks and stuff, they do include, if, you, if you're going close to one of these, if we zoom in a little bit, you'll see that there is, as it's fading to black, it does do a constant fade on the audio as well. But you might want to add uh, an audio transition. And you can do the same thing, so if we go back to the the effects bin you'll see we've got audio transitions we open that up crossfade and just do there isn't really that much difference between these but do like a constant power so what will happen now in this particular thing is the video will start at the beginning 
but you won't hear me talking. It will kind of fade in. And this is really useful when it comes to music, and especially as you can set the transition duration and you can change it. In fact, if you see in the top left-hand corner, you can see the kind of spike that it does, the kind of graph that it does. So there we go. That's your basic transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. You you know set um, dip to black as your um, Ooh, let's get to the right bit. Where are we? Video transitions. There we go. Set um, dip to black as your uh, default tran default transitions. Just double click to go in between the uh, uh, clips, and then when you want to do titles and things like that, use the additive dissolve.